Hello, uh, I'm Ellie for Edu for Java, and this is the tutorial number five of game Java game programming. In this tutorial, we're going to add the racket sprite to hit the ball. In this tutorial, we will add a racket using a sprite called racket. The racket will move to the left or to the right when the press when we press the cursor keys. So our program has to read from the keyboard. New sprite racket. The first thing we have to do is add a new property called racket in the class game, where we keep the racket sprite. Here we are. In the constructor of racket, we're going to pass a parameter, which is the pointer to game. The object of the game to control that the racket doesn't go out of the borders of the game. In the move method, we're going to add a call to racket move. And in paint, we're going to add a call to racket paint. In the method move, we make the ball move and we also make the racket move. And in the method paint, after cleaning the canvas and painting the ball, we paint the racket. This instruction here, uh, you remember we saw it, uh, it makes smoother the borders of the ball. Uh, we could put it inside the sprite ball, uh, or we can also leave it here because if we think that it's going to be useful to make other sprites uh, smoother the borders, we can leave it here. It's your decision. Until now, everything is similar to the sprite ball, but uh, we have to do something else because the position of the racket responds to the keyboard. We see that in the constructor, yeah, we had used a method called add key listener, and this is an anonymous class here, yeah, which implements the interface key listener. And in the method key released, we inform racket that someone has released the key. Basically, we make a method in racket that when someone releases a key, it defines what it has to do. When key pressed is called, it will call another racket method. We send the event E to be able to know which was the key pressed. As we said before, we have to set the game, which is J panel, we have to set it to focusable so that it can capture events. We are now going to take a look at the um, classes ball and racket. Both are going to be sprites. As you can see here, ball is going to be exactly the same and here we have racket. In the method paint, here we can see that in fill rectangle we have just x, y is fixed. It is going to be a rectangle of with a width of 60 and a height of 10. x, as you can see here, is the only one which is a variable. Here you can see it will start in 0, so we, it will be at the left of the screen. x, a is the speed, the direction it will have, which in the beginning will also be zero. When somebody presses the key, this method is called key pressed. And what is the, it does is see if the key code is equal to left, it assigns xa equals minus one. If it is right, it assigns one to a key. X, A. Each time we call move, we assign X equals X plus the increase we want to make. An X, A will be minus 1 if it is going left, and X, A equals assigns 1 if it's going to the right. If a key is released, X, A is 0, so it, it stops. This here is inside an if, so that it doesn't go, go out of the screen. This if allows it to increase if x plus xa, which is the increase we want to make, is bigger than zero. This is not allowing the racket to go out of the left border. 
so it doesn't go out of the right border, we have this. X plus the increase we want to make is smaller than the width of the canvas, minus 60, which is the width of the racket. Okay, let's run the game, the code, and see what happens. We're going to copy the classes. Bracket. And we have still to copy game. Run it, and we can see that if I press the key to the right, you can see that the racket goes to the right till it gets to the border. When I press the left key, it goes to the left until it gets to the border. We can see that the sprites ignore one another. They don't make a collision. Our next tutorial is going to talk about the detection of the collision in sprites. This is that the ball realizes that it is hitting the racket and bounces back. This is all for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye.